hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this cubical typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will name it as Main Animation. Width I'll choose 1920. Height I'll choose 180. Frame rate is 30 seconds and duration is also 30 seconds. And background color I'll choose solid white color. And hit OK. Go to the Choose Grid and Guide option and hit Title Safe Action. Now I'll create another composition by hitting Control N on keyboard. And I'll call this composition as Outside. Width I'll choose 180. Frame rate is also one. Uh, I mean height is also 180. Frame rate is 30 seconds and duration is also 30 seconds. And background color I'll choose solid white color and hit OK. So our composition is ready. Now I'll type my text. I'll choose my text tool and I'll type text over here called outside. Hit Control A to select this text and make sure you're using all caps to make this text all caps. Select this text. Hit Control C and hit enter to press ctrl v again hit enter and press ctrl v press ctrl v few times just like that now select this tricks press ctrl alt home to align this anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it up to this now press ctrl r to get this ruler and we will create this kind of grid over here zoom in a little bit make sure hit V make sure that this ruler touching this edge of this T now select this text press P for position create one keyframe hit U and up to 20 frames I'll move this downwards until my another T will touch this grid just a little bit downwards yeah this looks good to me now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression so if i hit play now we will get this continuous loops very nicely press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok and drag this over here now hit ctrl n to create another composition i'll call it as box the box and hit ok choose our text tool and first i'll type the and then i'll type box just like that now select both of them press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally press s for scaling option and scale it just like that now move this thing over here right click create one null object select both the text and make it apparent with this null select this null press s for scaling option and scale it just like that move this thing over here now i'll delete this select both this text press p for position create one keyframe over here and go to one second and again create one keyframes over here now in middle of them what i'll do i'll select this the Copy the initial keyframe of this the, hit Ctrl C, select this box and hit Ctrl V. Now same, I'll select this the, I'll copy the first keyframe of this box, hit Ctrl C and then this one and hit Ctrl V. So if I hit play, we will get this kind of stuff. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph, move this thing over here and this thing over here. Press Alt and shift those keyframes to 1.20 frames so we will get this kind of animation now select both of them and press ctrl shift c and i will call it as text and hit ok now select this text composition choose our rectangle tool and make one mask on this the only So we'll get this kind of stuff hit ctrl d press m and invert this mask 
as you can see we are not getting any difference over here so now what we will do i will select this first layer right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project hit ctrl d by holding alt i will drag this composition from my project window to my the box composition and i will drag it on this one so now it is replaced by this composition now double click on this composition select both the text go to the character menu and i'll delete the fill and i'll choose stroke and stroke color i'll choose black and now if i see my animation over here we'll get something like this now there is another thing we need to do hit u i'll click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression hit ctrl a hit ctrl c also select this one hit ctrl v also i'll select this text composition hit u i'll click on the stopwatch press ctrl v press ctrl v like that and in the box we will get the box text animation now i'll uh, hide both of them hit ctrl n to create a new composition and now we'll call this composition as think hit ok now choose this text type think over here hit ctrl a we don't need any stroke i'll delete the stroke all we need to do is add fill select this text press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like that select this text press p i'll move this over here and around one second i'll move this thing up to the here just like that I think we will shift this keyframe to 1.20 frames. We will get this kind of animation. Now I'll click on the stopwatch. I'll type it loop out expression on it, just like that. Now select this text. Hit Control D. Press U to reveal keyframes. I'll click. So I'll delete this expression and I'll delete keyframes also. And press K to sh shift this what we call time indicator to the second frame and now i'll select this first layer and make it parent with the second one so now if we hit play we will get this continuous loop over here now select both the text press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text only hit ok hit ctrl d press v i'll move this thing over here hit ctrl d and i'll move this thing over here select both the layers and just move it back just like that now right click go to the time and choose time reverse layers so now both of them are in opposite direction so our both i mean three layers are ready i mean composition outside i mean think outside the box now we need to convert them into 3d so we now we will go to our main animation and i'll drag my outside layer over here press s and let's make it 40 or let's say 40 sorry also select this box press ctrl y to create a solid background and drag it down also select this thing press ctrl y and create one solid background and drag it down now go to the main animation i'll now add my think over here and then the box select both of them and press s for scaling option and scale it 40 percent now this is my outside now we need to move this thing over here but before that what we will do press y to select our pen behind tool and hold ctrl and drag this at the bottom so it will move this anchor point at the edge press v by holding ctrl i'll move this over here so it will snap it with this outside now this is with the box text press y again to choose pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll move this snap this anchor point over here press v to select our selection tool and by holding ctrl i'll move this thing over here so our snapping is ready press f4 and i'll make this into 3d convert these layers into 3d and hit u now important part right click go to the new and choose camera and make sure that your zoom value is 1100 and then hit ok now i'll create one null object 
I'll also convert it into 3D. Select this camera, make it parent with this null too. Select this null, press R. On Y axis, I'll move it 45 or let's say minus 45. Around X or axis, I'll make it 25 or let's say minus 25. First, we will have what we say rotate it. So on X axis, on on y axis i'll make it minus 90 select this thing press r for rotation and on x rotation i'll choose 90 or let's say minus 90 yep this looks good to me now select this null press r for rotation and we will rotate it on y axis something like that now let's some will adjust it to like this minus 25 and let's say this one also minus 25 or even more than minus 35 maybe yeah and now i'll move this thing a little bit over here press s for scaling option and scale it down so it will increase the scale of this one so if i hit play we will get this continuous loop over here and now you press ctrl y and you can add black background over it just like that so if we play we will get this kind of continuous animation of this box looks like so and if you want to change the colors of them simply press ctrl alt I mean Control alt y to create one adjustment layer and simply go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint effect on it and I think you can swap these colors so you will get some kind of this results I think this one looks good or you can change the color of this to n1 or you can swap these colors also so you get this kind of looping typography I'll delete this data for now and I'll also delete this here. So yep, this is our final animation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.